Hi there. This is just a quick tutorial on how to make a form that submits to another page and then is processed in that other page so that the data is displayed that was entered into the form. Now, I've just got a basic sort of layout started here where um, it's just going to show name, email, username and message under each other on a page. Now, we're going to start by starting the form. So here we go. Form action equals sent.php because that's where the file is going to be sent to. Now this is an in index.php right now that I'm editing. Anyway. So it's going to be sent to sent.php and the method that's going to be using is post because that's a secure way. Now we're going to close that. Then for the first field we're going to put input type is equal to text. <coughs> And the name is going to equal name. And second input, we're going to have type equal to text again. And the name equal to email. Now these names are very important uh, because the names that you enter must be exactly the same in the next page because that's how they're processed via their names. Anyway, we're going to create another one called username. So input type is text, name is username. And end that. And then we're going to have a message field. Now this isn't uh, an input; it's a text area, but it's still classed as an input. So text area name equals message rows five columns thirty. And then end the text here. Now we need to make a submit button. So this is an input again. And the type is going to equal submit. The value of it is going to be send now. And the name will equal submit. and then we're going to end the form ok so now that's us got a form done we'll save that and then I'll upload that to the website ok and now you want to go to this URL here youtube.kylethompson dot com that's youtube dot kyle hyphen thompson dot com don't forget to check out my website kyle hyphen thompson dot com once you get here you want to click on form then form display on page and this is the file you just created all the inputs there with their labels and the send now button now when we click on that it will go to this other file we're about to create which is send.php So let's create send.php Ok, and this is just another quick thing I've put up Now what we want to do is open some PHP tags And we want to close them as well 
first thing we want to do is check to see if the form has been submitted. So if exclamation mark, which means if this isn't true, post submit. So if that's not true, then it's going to display. I'm sorry, echo. Please use the form. Okay. And we'll put else. So if the form has been submitted, then we want to start getting variables. So we'll say name equal to post name then email is equal to post email and username is equal to post username and Finally, MSG message is equal to post message. So that's just got our variable names. Now basically what this is doing is from the previous page it's getting the po the um, submit button uh, and it's checking if it's been pressed. If it hasn't been pressed it'll say please use the form. If it has been pressed, it will assign the details within um, the name input, the email input, the username input and the message input. It will assign them to these different variable names here. It, these variable names are just a quicker way of typing that out. Now, what I want to do is echo this out now. So I want to say thank you for using our form comma and space and then dot name. Okay. So so far it's gonna say thank you for using our form and then whoever's whoever the name of the person is, or whatever the name is that they entered into this form anyway, okay? Then we want to make a couple of line breaks. We want to see. We have received Whoever received your message, which was a couple of line breaks here again. Mm. Oops, sorry, it's MSG. And then we want to say and and your username is username and then we want to say we will reply with an email to the provided one And we're going to put email, and then that's that there. Okay, so this is going to if the submit button has been pressed, uh, it will skip this block of code here to this one here, and what it's going to say is thank you for using our form whatever the name entered was 
we will receive your message which was and then it will display the message underneath it then it will say and your username is and whatever the username entered was then it will say we will reply with an email to the provided one and whatever the person's email that was entered is now let me upload these to the web server and then I'll show you it running okay so that's them uploaded now so let's go onto the page which we created okay and we want to enter in her name find Kyle I'll put my email in username just put Kyle T and message just type anything okay now this is, all this information is going to be sent to the next page when we click send now. So let's click send now. don't know why it wasn't working before, sorry, let's just re-upload this then. Okay, so now this should be working. So if we refresh it, resend the data. see something else, I've made a mistake there, I've not put a space in after the username so it's made it into the one word, but let's see how this goes anyway, my internet must be really slow tonight because this is taking off a long time to resubmit. Anyway, it shows you, thank you for using your form, and it's got the name we entered. Then we've received your message, which was that, which is the message I had entered. It says your username is KOT, which I've entered. And it says we will reply with an email to the provided one, and that's the email I provided them. So you can see that this can be quite effective. Now, I know it wasn't the best example, I mean, this... Um, code here is because um, I had the this code and I had slashes in between them and it was uh, counting them as something invalid so it's put up that error um, but that won't be there in the source code so don't worry um, there you go, that's it working. So thank you for using our form, Kyle. Okay, let's just... Let me just show you it working properly now. Okay, so put in Kyle. 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 Kyle T. I'll put a space after. It won't work. And put in load of stuff. Take the enrager at the keyboard, okay. So send that. And there you go. Thank you for using your form, Kyle. We have received your message, which was raging keyboard. Then your username is Kyle T. You will reply with an email to the parided one, kyle.thompson at webproducers.co.uk. Oh, I missed out the you. Oh well. Anyway, you get the basics of it, and the source code will be available. 
um, just follow this directory you're just going to youtube.kylethompson.com then clicking on form then clicking on form display on page and you'll be taken straight to it there'll be a link saying get source code thanks for watching guys